All right, guys, if you're facing call related issues such as incoming call not showing or you cannot make call on your Samsung Z Fold devices and you don't really know how to fix this problem, then don't worry. Because in this video, we're going to go ahead and show you how to fix the call related issues at once. Now, the first work you have to do, just simply go ahead and swap down from the top and simply turn on your airplane mode and afterward, simply go ahead and press that volume down button and the power button together and keep holding them unless you see that Samsung logo comes on your screen. Now go ahead and leave this button as soon as you see Samsung logo appears and please wait unless your device get back to work again. Well, after turning on your airplane mode and giving you force restart on your device, if that doesn't help you to fix your call related issues, then you have to check out the next process. In the next process, the first work you need to do is simply open up your settings. Now go ahead and tap your install unknown application and then go ahead and tap on this three dot and simply tap a reset app preferences. Go ahead and tap on there and tap reset. Now after that your call application will be able to receive all of this call which you're having or which you're trouble getting right now. Now right afterward, the next things you have to do, just go ahead and press and hold your call um, application, then tap on this eye icon. Now simply tap full stop and then tap OK and right afterward guys, now just go ahead and give it a check whether your problem is solved or not. After doing this process, if you're still having the same problem, the next things you want to do is you just go ahead and simply wipe that cache partition on your device to fix your problem. Just go ahead and press that volume down button and the power button together. Now just go ahead and press them down just like that and keep them holding unless you see that your device is actually turned off. Right afterward, just go ahead and press that volume up button and the power button together. Just go ahead and keep doing this for a, uh, let's say for three to five seconds. And then what will happen, you're going to get this Samsung logo appears on your device and now you're going to get to your boot screen, okay? Now let me just go ahead and wait and here, as you guys can see now your Android recovery option is right here. Now you have to navigate by using your um, you know volume up button and down button and power button you know at the same time. Now I'm just going to go ahead and use that volume down button to navigate. So here I'll just go ahead and scroll down here. Now go ahead and choose this option called wipe cache partitions. Okay. Now once you're just here, just go ahead and press your power button once and come to your yes option. Simply press your power button one more time. And then what will happen, you're going to see this option, I mean that program is going to run and this is going to fix your problem if it is happening because of this, uh, let's say for uh, cache partition, okay? Now once you've seen this uh, cache wipe complete, now come up here and simply press your power button one more times and this is going to reboot your device. Now afterward, what's going to happen, this is going to help you to fix your all the call related issue at once. Now let's go ahead and wait unless your device get back to work. Now let's go ahead and check whether we are getting any call or not so we'll just go ahead and uh, check it out. So as you guys can tell that now we are receiving the call and we don't really have any problem whatsoever after doing all of the process and if you do exactly the same work to fix your problem we can tell you'll be able to fix your problem as well okay. So um, this problem also can happen uh, because of your SIM related issue, okay? So we have a dedicated video about that on how you can fix your SIM related issue. So we're going to give you the video link in the description so you guys can feel free to check it out so that you can fix your SIM related problem, okay? Alright guys, so after doing all of the process so far, you'll be able to solve your problem and this is how it's done. Hope this video is useful guys. If you think so, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we will get back to you all soon.